uh, we see layoffs upon layoffs, businesses shutting down. Uh, from a economic perspective, where do you see us, or how do you see us handling these unprecedented times over the next several weeks and months? Well, good morning again, and I, and I think that's the million dollar question on everybody's mind. Uh, what's next? And, and of, of course, the, the, there's a very difficult uh, answer to be found in that we don't know what's next in terms of having a benchmark by which to compare our actions. What we do know, though, is that the efforts of government cannot be efforts by themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take the serious focus on uh, major collaboration with the private sector. In addition to that, Bahamians at every level, every level, uh, are going to be required to contribute. Uh, someone asked me yesterday, well, how's that supposed to happen? We, 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 we say, well, look, you know, at the very base level, every Bahamian could at least comply uh, with some of the uh, requirements, uh, protocols that are in place. But the, uh, at the end of the day, I think we are also going to be challenged to look at rapidly developing best practices uh, from evolving countries because we're all basically in the same boat. What it means though then is we have to be very close attention to those uh, uh, two sectors. One, the health sector. Uh, what, what are the best practices that are being uh, uh, executed around the world? And then from the economic standpoint, knowing ourselves, knowing what it is we need to do, how do we change our focus on how we've done business in the past, how we've done, um, uh, how we've conducted ourselves as a country in the past. And every private sector entity is also being equally challenged to take a look at its own business operations and models. So th the short answer is there is no answer other than the fact that we must find ourselves uh, collaborating and working. This is an evolving environment we're in, and it's going to be evolving for quite some time. And so the, there is no quick fix answer, but there is room for involvement. By, 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 uh, by saying that, it's also going to be uh, important for us to depoliticize our conversations and, and, and focus on what is good for the country. And regardless of where the idea, recommendation, suggestion comes from, we must really be nonpartisan in our discussions and our contributions so that best ideas do come to the fore, best ideas are considered, and thus ideas that are shared are shared in an environment where they can be heard in the first instance, then they can be developed and expanded to where we can flesh out a possible solution. But here's a deal, don't you? There are some who have argued that, you know, we're not all in the same boat. That some people in this country are in uh, cruise ship size vessels, and some are in <coughs> sailboats, and some are in canoes, and some really have a lot of life on it. So I hear you in terms of, you know, all of us being in the same water, but we're not all in the same boat. And, and sadly that is true, but that's also part of the challenge that we're going to face because we have the same challenge in every other country and their waters are water, but they're not all in the same vessels. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that you will find is that this pandemic, and particularly in our case, in the post environment, is forcing us to rethink how we think, regardless of which boat we're in, uh, it's going to force us to think differently. The greatest impediment that I see is not the lack of ideas or lack of, lack of, 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 of willingness, it's a lack of willingness to hear each other out, it's a lack of willingness for us to change the paradigm. We can hear a lot of people globally asking for yesterday to return. Truth of the matter is, it's not going to return. So, what does that say to us? Then I must, I must be prepared to rethink. Now, we can do it willingly, or we can let the global environment force us to do so. Either way, we are going to have to be forced to rethink. Now, I, I, I was having a conversation yesterday with a group, and I said to them, they were thinking, yeah, but you know, we've been fighting the same fights for so long. Well, maybe it's time to stop fighting that fight and let the external forces fight the fight for you. What am I saying by that? This world that we see emerging is not even the same world we saw in January. 
it's going to force change. It's going to force us to think differently. And when we 